I'm Miles Parker. I'm project lead for the Eclipse Agent Modeling Project, and I'm also founder of Metascape. In this screencast, we're going to talk more about the agent modeling platform architecture. We're going to look at the agent modeling framework and the overall software ecosystem. And there's some confusion here. The agent modeling framework is part of the agent modeling platform, but um, the agent modeling platform, the AXF and AGF components, are not dependent on AMF. And AMF um, um, can generate code outside of the agent modeling platform. So uh, the, the AMF is analogous to EMF, the Eclipse modeling framework. Um, and it has a, 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 a meta model, um, a core, that is used to represent agent models and a set of um, editors and IDE support and so on for working with that model. And currently we can generate code for um, these three different platforms plus a whole bunch of different artifacts like documentation and so on. Um, but uh, that's just a start. Um, there's a, a, there are a tremendous amount of different things that you could conceivably do with this. Um, so the meta model is different from EMF. It provides, um, it, it, instead of being a pure object model, it, it has some interesting particular features. Um, space and uh, composite model composition is really important. So there's explicit support for n-dimensional space and all kinds of different graph space and so on. Um, and then most importantly, there's support for a whole behavior uh, framework. And um, this allows you to define an entire agent-based model, including um, all of the various interactions between the pieces, all within a single meta model without any Java code. Um, and of course, um, it provides all of the different infrastructure. And there's some nice um, IDE tools there for doing things like um, um, real-time building of models and, um, and so on. Okay, so here is how this fits in with um, all the other pieces, um, uh, uh, how it's intended to work. Um, so AMF sort of acts as a hub here, where um, you have a lot of different sources for models. Um, everything from the EMF mo edit models, the hierarchical models, which we'll, we'll demonstrate in other um, in another screencast, um, to textual models um, like sugar uh, that we'll again describe in the Metascape visual environment. Um, but also um, been working with people in the biomed field, um, looking at ways to make um, move ontologies on an automated way to these um, to agent models. Um, so you could imagine a solution where you say had a large um, protein interaction database and were able to assemble agent-based models in a semi-automated automated way from that. You might have bridges to other tools um, and so on. Then on the other side, um, we can generate code for all of these different uh, implementations for all of these different uh, platforms. And um, that becomes tremendously powerful. Uh, it means that people aren't tied to any particular tool set, can use the tool that fits their needs. And it opens up all sorts of interesting possibilities in terms of, um, say, uh, um, uh, high-performance computing or something. And that's something Metascape as a company is quite interested in. OK. So let's look at um, how this fits into the overall Eclipse ecosystem and the agent modeling ecosystem in general. So we have here um, um, uh, these different concentric circles, and it looks complicated, but we actually do have connections to all of these different pieces. Within AMP, we have the agent modeling framework. Um, AMP is part of the Eclipse modeling project, um, and there are some aspects of AMP that kind of go outside of that. Uh, again, uh, we provide execution, agent execution, and, and graphics tools that could be useful for um, a, a lot of different efforts, visualization efforts, um, um, other kinds of um, uh, some maybe real-time monitoring, um, those kinds of things. But in general, we fit into the modeling group. And then, of course, again, we have on the provider side all these different pieces. And, and we would hope that that, that side really grows. Um, and it's entirely open, uh, again, to proprietary and uh, and other open source efforts and so on, and also on the target side. Anybody can come along and, and define a new agent modeling um, 
framework uh, generation um, capability and, and generate it to a, a target that they care about. Um, and it's the architecture is designed um, using aspects and so on and using the um, expand tools. Actually, I realized that I don't have, um, well, we have model to text, which is, which is expand. And um, we have TMF, which is the X text component. Those are, those are probably outside of EMF, the, the, the two major contributors to um, the AMF effort. Um, using all of those pieces, um, people can generate agent models for uh, anything they want. And you can, you can create and design agent-based models using anything you want. So that's AMP, and um, in some other screen, uh, in, in some other screencast, we'll be looking at and going into the AMF model structure in depth. Um, we've talked about why agent-based uh, modeling is an important thing to do, um, and we'll be doing some demos.